her. So, I have a really great video planned for you today. I had to rehydrate these lips. I got, um, listen. Right before I go to bed at night, it's just me and the phone. And I just scroll on TikTok. It seems like every other video is a TikTok air. I have bought so much stuff on TikTok shop that I don't need. My dog, Pepper, she now has a car seat. Like, why do I have this? Why? Girl, I got this arm shaper. To get ready on bat wings, because mine have been extra juicy. Even though I'm losing weight, I'm like, disrespectful. Today's video is sponsored by OMG Her Hair. Just favorite. So I'm gonna get into all the specifications of the wig. I'm, I'm gonna show you everything about it, but I just, I want to say that I love trying new technology on these wigs. I already put her on because I have been humbled in the past, right? I decided I'm gonna do the ball cap method and then I get a wig that doesn't really fit. Unless you get your head circumference measured and you have somebody who is actually making a wig for your specific specifications for your head, it's kind of difficult when you're putting on a glueless wig to try to have it fit perfectly, right? Because sometimes you gotta cut the ear flaps. Sometimes it's too loose. Sometimes when you do wear a glueless, it fits all around this area, but it doesn't fit up here. You know what I'm saying? Every single new technology that comes out that's implemented, it's always, it's just evolving and it's getting better and better. But let me show you the hell. Tell me this doesn't take you back. I feel like at one point in high school, every other girl had these same color bundles of Milky Way. I know I did. 20 inches, light yucky, so satisfying. Here's a quick little view of the inner workings of the cap. It doesn't have an elastic band that's detachable on the inside, but it does have only these two temple combs, no crown comb, because what you need a crown comb for? I think those crown combs are mainly for people who don't really wear wig caps, but who's not wearing a wig cap when you put their wig on? To me, it feels like they took some of the best features of other different variations that they've had in the past and they kind of combined them into one. So right here, you have this anti-wig slip. You got one little nape comb, but instead of that elastic band on the inside, you have this bungee cord. <laughs> Girl, you got this quick weed ponytail thing on the back. I'm not mad at that. It's eight by six, and they're calling this the 3D dome cap because as you can see, the way that it's cut, well, I mean, it's already, it's pre-cut for you, like it's got that zigzag pre-cut, but it's like the way that it's cut is supposed to give you a better fit in this area without bunching up. Okay, I have another wig entirely just to, just to bring home the point that I'm trying to make. In this particular wig, the elastic strap is right here. Put your wig on and everything, but you need to cut some space for your ear because you know, if you are wearing a wig all day long and you have something pressing on the very top right here, you're gonna get a headache, it's annoying, and it feels uncomfortable, right? So you cut a space right here, but you can't cut this part. You cannot cut this part because if you cut this part, boom, there goes your elastic strap, it don't work no more. But I am not in my party phase no more. I need comfort. Back in the days when I was younger, if I ordered a wig and I put it on and it was uncomfortable, I'd deal with it. If it gave me a headache, I'd take ibuprofen, it'd be all right. And a lot of these wigs, you can't alter the way you need to wear them to be absolutely comfortable because you will damage the wig in some way. Some functionality of it is going to be lost. This silicone lining that's all around the edges is now stretchy. The ear portion is cut out. And this is probably my favorite part about this. That that's so innovative. So yeah, 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 girl. I just can you just put a wig on? Put a wig on. Okay, so now I'm gonna adjust my bungee cord, <laughs> elastic cord. They call it elastic cord. I'm gonna call it a bungee cord all day long. Girl, I can barely put my finger underneath this. Thing. This thing is on tight. Where's my comb? You see how that's going back? Like the, it's elastic almost. That takes so much effort to pull it up, but it's not tight. I read in my documents that they mentioned that if you look at this lace under a microscope, you will see that the edges are frayed, allowing for more elasticity, I suppose, and that it is only 0.11 millimeters thick. 
They wasn't lying, y'all. Women in STEM. Why do I have one? Because this is a scientific household. Already slicked back for you. It's wild to me that I am not going to be using any adhesive with a glueless wig. I am flummoxed. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna fix my face, put on some makeup, and then I will meet back up with you to finish styling. camera listen I'm not saying fine all right I want to get into the hair I'm excited that's why we're here lucky for you guys well lucky for me I don't know about lucky for y'all <laughs> it might be entertaining for y'all but I bought a webinar hmm. so I did some studying from the stylist and I am going to attempt to use some of the techniques and tricks that she showcased in her webinar and yeah so I'm um, going to be cutting this hair Girl, can you do it? Yes, I can. And I will also be curling this hair, but I'm really mad because I ordered, my curling iron didn't come in. This is probably a half, right? Like one and a half inch barrel. And the curling iron that I ordered is 1.75 and it's a lot bigger. So, um, hopefully that's okay. I feel like her curling iron was so much bigger than mine. <laughs> Let me go ahead and show you guys how long this hair is. So she's 20 inches long and she's got these beautiful highlights. I got my scissors ready. I am not a stylist, but let me tell you something. If I pull this off, I might be. All right, this is my head. So let's go ahead and get cut. Go bow for the result, oh. Nothing to discuss, oh. Cause I take my wife out and without any doubt, oh. I'm a me, I be a doubt, oh. I no go feed the girl. I no go feed the girl, it's out, oh. I'm a mind that's you to talk, oh. I put my life into my job and I know I'm in trouble. She manipulate my love, oh. I followed her tutorial and she said be very gentle when you're removing your clips and make sure that the curls fall how you curl them and all different types of stuff. I don't really know what that means, but I'm gonna try to do what she said. It looks so pretty already. One thing I forgot to do was use any holding spray, so hopefully that don't matter. Okay, I haven't combed anything out, but I'm going to now. <laughs> Although I will say that, oh girl, I missed one in the back. I like the method of curling that, like it's already giving. Look at this, look at the back. I haven't even done anything yet. I don't even think I needed to order that curling iron. Here we go. Oh wow. Okay, let me finish. Let me finish. So that's it. And wow. More webinars. 2024 is the year of learning. So my final thoughts on this 3D dome cap wig that I got from OMG Hair is that I actually do love it. I really do. The, you can't, you cannot beat how secure this wig is on your head. No plucking, no bleaching. Okay, all right. That's it. That that should be like, you know what I mean. When it comes to a glueless wig, that should be the least of your concerns, right? The wig comes already styled in the front. If you want to do anything more to it, you can, which I did. It blended right in. I didn't do anything to it. I put a little bit of powder on my part, and that's that's it and this elastic cord in the back. Cause it is on there, it's on. Am I gonna do it? I'm gonna do it. Cause I love y'all. Okay, I'm gonna do a shake test. Here we go. <laughs> I better not need no ibuprofen after this.
this week, certified hoodie classes. Thank you guys so much for watching. All the information and specs about this wig are going to be in the description box below. Drop a comment, leave a like, subscribe, I don't know. Thank you so much, and I'll talk to you guys later. Would you love me better if I go?